forward line and very good use of the body by Tim Mark at half back. Brett Stevens to the wing area again. Henwood in from behind. Rowe gets a hurried right foot kick across the centre. Lynch a lightning hand pass to Baldwin. He steadies, has a look up forward. No one able to pick it up for Fitzroy. It's Jim West. Gets the hand pass out. He finds Ian Roberts and he just sneaks away from Matera. Enough time to get his kick. Had nowhere to go, but gathered some valuable ground. Let's throw in some 65 metres from the Fitzroy goal. They are very keen to go on with it. Matera gets the hand pass away. The kick is off target and one behind only to that player in Anthony Woods who started the day with a goal and that's the only goal he's got. This is Jim West. And this is Lloyd. Sydney uh, very easily able to run it out through Phylum, but that kick lands with Gale. There it is. Victory to the Lions. And a cause for a roar because Fitzroy have won this match quite convincingly in the end. The final scoreline, 17-14, 116. Sydney, 10-11, 71. Uh, disappointment for the Sydney Swans players as they leave the ground. Injury riddled, they tried their heart out. But jubilation for the young Lions as Jimmy Wine there boots off and just coming to meet those players coming in, shaking their hands and saying a job well done. They came up here with a mission with coach Curly Austin just three wins for the season. They wanted something desperate to happen, and they got it. Sydney must look to the future, and, well, if they can get some players back, who knows, they could still be a force. But the honours lying with Fitzroy as Gary Pert and Paul Roos, John Ironmonger lead their team off. Matthew Wheeler leaves the ground. And... Just repeating our final score, Fitzroy, 17.